Hello, thanks for joining our Digital Sunday School, where we can pray, talk, hear a Bible story and learn from God in our own homes. First, let's talk to God. Sit down, put your hands together and close your eyes as we pray so you don't get distracted. Dear God, please help us to understand who Jesus is and what it means that he came to rescue sinners. Amen. Sometimes we use the word see to mean understanding something, like, oh, I see how that works, or do you see? Sometimes we only need to see something or see a picture of something to understand it. And sometimes it doesn't matter how hard we look, we still can't work out what's going on. Let's spend a little time thinking about how we understand things. How do you learn best? What's hard to understand and how can we understand other people better? Is seeing someone enough to get to know them? You can pause now and talk about this. Jesus helps a blind man to see again. Look out for something a bit unusual in this healing and see if you can work out what Jesus was trying to teach his friends. One day, Jesus and his friends were in Bethsaida. People knew that Jesus could heal with just a touch and so they brought a blind man to him and asked Jesus to touch him. Jesus took the blind man and his friends outside of the village where no one could see what he was doing. Jesus spat on the man's eyes and put his hands on him. Can you see anything? Jesus asked him. The man looked around. Hey, see people, he said, but they're not very clear. They look like trees walking around. Jesus put his hands on the man's eyes again. Then he could see everything clearly. Jesus sent him home and told him not to tell people what Jesus had done for him. Jesus had healed people from worse things than blindness before. He'd even brought people back from the dead. So why hadn't this man been able to see clearly straight away? And why wouldn't Jesus want him to tell his friends what happened? Surely they would notice that he could see now. Well, Jesus and his friends visited some other villagers in the area. While they were walking, he asked them a question. Who do people say I am? The disciples told him, some people say you're John the Baptist. Oh, other people say you're the prophet Elijah. And some people think you're just one of the other prophets. Now, all of these people the disciples were talking about had seen what Jesus could do, but they hadn't seen him clearly. They hadn't understood who Jesus really was. But what about you? asked Jesus. Who do you think I am? Peter didn't have to think about it. You're the Messiah, said Peter. You're the one God has sent to rescue us from sin. Peter and the other disciples could now see Jesus clearly. They knew who he really was. But even they still didn't know all that Jesus would do. They didn't know that Jesus would rescue people by dying himself. So Jesus asked them not to tell people yet. He knew that people would only really understand who he was after he had died in their place and come back to life. You can read about what happened in the Bible in Mark chapter 8 verses 22 to 30. If you have a Bible handy, pause the video and read it with someone. We've been learning a verse from Mark's Gospel, but we've only learned half of it so far. Can you remember the first half? These pictures might remind you. Press pause and say what you remember. Well, we're going to learn the second half of the verse as well. But let's start at the beginning. It is not the healthy who need a doctor, but those who are ill. That's right. 
Then Jesus said, I have not come to call. Can you see a picture of someone not calling? Jesus said, I have not come to call the righteous. Now the righteous means people who have done what God wants. So is there a picture here that might show a righteous person? Great, good work. Then Jesus said, but sinners. Now sinners are people who need God. They need to be rescued from their sin. Now, let's be honest, this is everyone. Everyone needs God to rescue them. So can you see a picture which shows a whole bunch of people who need God? That picture shows us the sinners. Let's try. Let's try it all together with the pictures and the words. Read it with me. Jesus said, it is not the healthy who need a doctor, but those who are ill. I have not come to call the righteous, but sinners. Well done. There are some questions about the memory verse on our worksheet today. You can find those questions plus some activities there after this video. Let's thank God that he showed us what he is like by coming to earth as Jesus. Close your eyes and think now about what Jesus is like. Is he kind or mean? Does he help or hurt people? What makes him sad? What makes him angry? And what does he get excited about? Let's pray now. Dear Jesus, thank you that you show us what God is like and that you can do that perfectly because you are God. Thank you that you made sure that people wrote down what you were like so that we could see you for ourselves. Please help us to see you clearly, to understand you better and not to have wrong pictures of what you're like in our heads. Amen. Well, I hope that our Sunday School helped you see Jesus a bit more clearly. Don't forget that you can use the worksheet to help with that, and it's a good time to ask questions you have about Jesus as well. Goodbye!